Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogu, and here's your Channels TV Evening News Recap for December the 19th, 2019. A former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Mohamed Adoke, has returned to the country. Mr. Adoke's aircraft touched down at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja at about 3.40 p.m. on Thursday. He was then whisked away from the foot of the aircraft by security operatives and taken to the office of Interpol in the Federal Capital Territory before he was handed over to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Mr. Doke is facing charges bordering on alleged abuse of office and money laundering with respect to the granting of the oil prospecting license 245 to Shell and ENI. The Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters has asked the Department of State Service and Justice Ijama Ojuku to submit a memorandum on the alleged invasion of a federal high court within 24 hours. The SS operatives had allegedly invaded the federal high court in Abuja to rearrest the publisher of Sahara Reporters and the convener of the hashtag Revolution Now protest on Moyele Shore a few hours after he was released on December the 6th. Now the Senate is investigating the matter. The committee also asked the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, counsel to Omoye Elisha Femi Falano, the Executive Secretary of the National Human Rights Commission, Tony Ujuku, and the Office of the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court to each submit a memorandum on the incident. The Federal Road Safety Corps has said that 9,698 accidents were recorded in 2019, leading to 4,737 deaths. FRSC Corps Marshal Boboye Oyeyemi stated this on Thursday while addressing journalists in Abuja. Also, according to the agency, over 157,000 traffic offenders were arrested in the third quarter of the year. Staff of the Nigeria Postal Service have staged a protest over the planned takeover of the collection of stamp duties by the Federal Inland Revenue Service. The protest took place at the Ministry of Finance in Abuja. Responding to the protesters, the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, said talks are still ongoing and asked the workers to submit a position paper on the issue. On the international scene, Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that the impeachment of Donald Trump was based on made-up grounds, adding he did not believe it marked the end of the U.S. president's tenure. Mr. Putin said the impeachment process still has to go through the Senate, where the Republicans, Trump's party, have a majority. And in sports, the Super Eagles of Nigeria have ended the year with their highest world ranking in the last decade. According to data released by the World Football Governing Body FIFA, the Eagles ended the year in the 31st position. The last time Nigeria finished a year higher was in 2009, when the team was 22nd in the world. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I am Ayotunde Balogun. Many thanks for watching.